Right, so the chip shortage and the chip production issues in general have got worse and now we have a report that maybe the iPhone 14 is going to miss out on 3 nanometer processors. And so let's delve into the report, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just suck in. Right, so the report is from the information, a pretty credible source, and so I do think the information is legit. Right, so the report mainly focuses on Apple and TSMC being best buds, but of course the main tidbit for us to focus on is the fact TSMC is struggling to make 3 nanometer processors. So in general, in case you don't know, Apple transitions to a new nanometer process about every two years. For example, we saw the 7 nanometer process debut with the A12, and that was carried over to the A13. Then we got 5 nanometers with the A14, and of course A15 uses a 5 nanometer plus process. And so the next part of this transition is 3 nanometers, and that should have been for the iPhone 14 with the A16 chip. Now, in case you're wondering what the benefits are to moving to 3 nanometers, the information says these should be more powerful, less energy hungry processors in its devices without dramatically increasing the size. Now, of course, since TSMC won't be able to produce 4 nanometer processors by the time the iPhone 14 goes into production, Apple, for the first time in history, might be stuck with the same chip manufacturing process for three years of the iPhone. And while the information says that this could put off consumers from upgrading and also gives competitors a bit more time to catch up. Now I do want to mention that consumers halting the upgrades based on the chip manufacturing process Apple's using seems like a slight exaggeration because I doubt a huge number of Apple's user base actually know what chips powering their iPhone and also the chip manufacturing process that's being used. And so yes, while this might be a bummer for us, the techies, the general audience is not going to care about Apple using the 5 nanometer process we have right now with the A15 with the A16. But the second point is pretty crucial because Apple has a massive lead over the competition because they've been consistently giving us new chip manufacturing processes every two years. And so if Apple falls behind, that could result in Qualcomm catching up to Apple and shrinking the performance gap between these two chips. Now the report does say that TSMC with these delays is still on track to reach three nanometers first ahead of Qualcomm and Intel so of course I don't expect the competition to leapfrog over Apple but of course the performance gap could be shrinking but anyways coming back to the lack of three nanometer chips ultimately yes this is a bummer but to be honest Apple's iPhone chips are amazing and so a small improvement in performance with the A16 chip is really not that bad. However, I do want to mention that we have heard previous reports regarding Macs and iPads getting 4 nanometer chips and so maybe because that's easier to produce, Apple could use that with the A16 chips and they would still see a pretty sizable improvement with the performance and efficiency of the chip. Anyways, tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the M1 Max iMac. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.